Hello and welcome everyone to the Week Ahead Commodity Report where we of course will be reviewing the markets for the week ahead. Uh, now historically December has been considered one of the most action-packed and profitable months of the year for commodity traders. This month so far it is definitely living up to expectations. Precious metal prices they surged last week to post their biggest week since November after the Federal Reserve, they decided to withdraw their pandemic-era stimulus. On Wednesday, the U.S. Central Bank, they announced plans to wrap up their stimulus program much faster than originally anticipated, and also they updated their economic projections to show three interest rate hikes by the end of 2022. Markets then rapidly shifted into safe haven mode as traders became skeptical about whether the Federal Reserve will actually be able to pull off three rate hikes next year and traders are now convinced that the Fed is setting itself up to fall short of those expectations due to a long list of big market risks which continue to brew on the horizon. That includes prolonged inflationary pressures, the COVID-19 Omicron variant, intensifying global supply chain issues, labour market shortages and US midterm elections just to name a few. Any one of these risks has the potential to force the Fed to backtrack on their plans and keep stimulus in place or even refrain from hiking interest rates. Now elsewhere, Britain became the first G7 economy to hike interest rates since the onset of the pandemic. The Bank of England, they raised interest rates from 0.1% to 0.25% in its first increase in more than three years, stating that the risk of inflation hitting 6% they required preemptive action. Now looking ahead, inflation will continue to dominate the headline news as we go into next week and drive the markets as traders await the release of personal consumption expenditures, the PCE data, which is known as the Federal Reserve's favourite measure of inflation. With inflation running out of control and hitting its highest in 40 years, that reading is expected to top forecast for 12 straight months in a row, showing the largest year-over-year -year jump in PC inflation since the early 1980s. Also on the radar next week will be the close watched US GDP data as well as consumer confidence and sentiment data which always has the potential to move the markets significantly. So with that let's move over to the charts and we'll talk you through exactly what we're looking at here as we head into a new week. Firstly let's move over to palladium. So palladium prices surged over 7% last week after retesting 1,600 US dollars per ounce. Now you have to remember that palladium earlier on this year back in May broke out to all time highs trading above $3,000 per ounce. Now palladium prices are actually cheaper than gold. So we've seen a massive opportunity here over the last few days, there's been an impulse move over Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, slingshot move to the upside and a 7% breakout here with Palladium. I would absolutely have this on the radar as we continue to go throughout the month of December and then into Q1 of 2022. We've talked to you through Palladium previously and this set up for a massive opportunity in the last week. Now, not only that, but Platinum prices also retested their previous swing lows before having a significant reversal last week on the FOMC statement as well. They retested below $900 per ounce. We're closing back at $926 US dollars per ounce. Again, within a strong cycle at this time of year for these metals. So I'd absolutely keep those on the radar. Silver, of course, we talked you through in detail on silver asset of the day that you wanted to keep an eye on that buy zone between 21 to 22 US dollars per ounce. You can see we tap that level again, retest of the swing lows from September last week before the FOMC statement. Then we've seen over a 2% surge to the upside, closing at $22.35 per ounce. So absolutely also keep an eye on silver here. As you know, we talked you through to expect that rug pull over the month of November after Thanksgiving, Black Friday, the end of month, profit taking that you often get and also thinner liquidity in the markets during that Thanksgiving period. And we also had the new COVID-19 Omicron variant, which all helped to cause pressure to the downside with industrial metals and as a result the dollar spiked to 16 month highs and created a much better opportunity for you to sniper in low here and get some great positions on the metals not only that 
gold so we talked to you through this last week as well on gold asset of the day last week on gold we were expecting a range between 1760 us dollars per ounce up towards 1800 now that was before the price had the breakout towards 1800 we talked to you through that on tuesday last week and then what we saw was that exact range getting put in on wednesday through to friday in fact look at where the price closed on friday at 1798 us dollars per ounce so that was absolutely spot on in terms of the levels that we were looking for last week as i mentioned last week as well every single trade that we have on gold is currently in profit we've used this opportunity lately with the sell-offs and the dips to really continue to sniper in nice and low here with gold to capitalize on this range bound volatility and great time of year for commodity traders to really capitalize so absolutely you do not want to miss out on the opportunities that you get at this time of year between now and the end of december and then into q1 of 2022 there can be some massive moves here on the commodity markets now not only that we've also seen big opportunities of course with crude oil lately after it broke down ten dollars right at the end of november off the back of the new omicron variant it then had a slingshot move higher recovered ten dollars as well we continue to consolidate here between 70 to 73 us dollars per barrel anything really sub 70 dollars per barrel at the moment is a zone of interest if you can get it i like 65 dollars per barrel down to 60 but right now we're not really seeing much of a dip below 70 dollars per barrel so that continues to be a significant zone which is getting bid at the moment copper also if you were to see a retracement back down towards 4.1 4.2 that is also a zone of interest for this market before we then move into q1 of 2022 and of course here i would also keep an eye on the dollar index so the dollar index had a news failure event last week on wednesday so when the federal reserve went ahead and announced their plans for three interest rate hikes into 2022 instead of the dollar having a breakout on that event the dollar actually had a breakdown over wednesday and thursday it did get a bit on friday however that was more of a result of quad witching in the market where you see outflows from equities and indexes and that propels the dollar higher but i would look out here for the dollar index as you get towards the end of the month of december if you see outflows again on the dollar, if you start to pull back from the 96.60 zone to 96.80 zone, this can also set up for a rally on the commodities that I've just discussed as well. So you want to keep a very close eye on the dollar index at this time of year too. And then finally, just moving over to natural gas prices. This market was absolutely fantastic to capitalize on the volatility over September, October into November. Typically though, at this time of year, natural gas is under more pressure until the end of the month but there are some fantastic opportunities with natural gas to capitalize on as you go into 2022 as you know recently it broke out to seven year highs it since had a 40 percent correction to the downside but it sets up again for really big opportunities as you move into 2022 which you do absolutely want to have on your radar as you know these extraordinary times they really do create extraordinary opportunities and right now we are living in one of the most exciting and rewarding periods ever in history so whatever long-term goal you're looking to achieve through trading whether that's to create a full-time income a second or replacement income or just to earn a better return on your savings then now is the time to take action to give yourself that gift of a better 2022 right now you have an opportunity to finish this year on a high note but also set yourself up to hit the ground running in 2022 which based on our research we predict is going to be a record setting year due to all the macroeconomic events that are currently unfolding if you want to maximize your money making potential and really thrive not just survive in these fast moving markets you need to adapt your strategy to the current market conditions and most importantly utilize a professional research driven approach in these times of heightened volatility and rapidly surging inflation the importance of having an income generating skill like trading has become a must-have necessity if the pandemic has taught us anything it's that you should never rely on just one income stream building multiple streams of income it's no longer an option it's a priority to make sure that you're inflation proof and you can thrive in this highly lucrative climate not just survive if you want to gain the ultimate edge to really supercharge your wealth in these fast moving markets then you need to trade like the hedge funds the money managers the institutions utilizing a professional research driven approach having access to the right data at the right time it is the single greatest difference between ordinary and extraordinary results the greater your data and intelligence the greater your edge in navigating these fast moving markets with precision accuracy and the highest levels of profitability 
trading like every other misguided retail trader out there using outdated technical analysis or gimmicky technical indicators it will not work and you are guaranteed to get crushed and chopped up in these markets you want to be utilizing data statistics market intelligence learn and understand the daily the weekly the monthly the quarterly cycles for each commodity alongside that the intermarket correlations the ratios in the market the sentiment capital flows key areas of liquidity and of course alongside that learn the macroeconomics the fundamentals the key news items which will have the biggest impact where you can really capitalize on impulse moves like we've seen in the last week off the back of the FOMC statement extremely quickly and alongside that learn how the hedge funds money managers banks and institutions are positioned in the market that will help you massively to get an edge so with that if you would like to join our community of successful traders learn the research driven approach to the market and join our professional mentorship program there is an opportunity opportunity for you to do so. As a member, you get access to our exclusive live trading room webinars. You get access to our real-time trade ideas, access to institutional research and market intelligence, access to our private members academy website, and also support and one-to-one -one mentoring. For more information, just go to www.jointhelivetradingroom.com. The link is also below this report in the description. So just click on the link, make an application, and we will of course get in touch with you ASAP. And do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you're always kept updated with all of the latest commodity reports.